Okay, so we're flying a VOR DME Alpha into Hayward today in an SR-20. We've been told to intercept final and report established. We've loaded the approach from San Jose and we're right now on a radar vector that is more or less direct to Jorpa. We'll intercept and we'll advise when we're established. We always start by briefing the ATIS. Brief the ATIS, we look at the uh, METAR. First we validate the timestamp 2054, and that's about a half an hour old. So this is a valid METAR we have here, 3005, six statue miles visibility. So obviously we're gonna favor runway 28 left and uh, five knots right down the runway. Six miles is within our personal limitations and it's within the requirements of one nautical mile visibility for the approach. Weather is haze and clouds clear. So obviously that's better than our minimums, which are 560 foot. We should have 660 set for our barrel minimums and those are set. And temperature dew point spread looks good. We've got about a nine degree spread, which means that we've got an improving trend since the sun is uh, four or five uniform traffic high over the horizon. Six miles up, direction six thousand. Temperature setting three zero one one should be set. Four or five uniform, we're looking. And that's our five bravo here. Traffic briefing. eleven o'clock, five miles up, direction uh, Cessna, climbing to five thousand five hundred. Looking for traffic, five bravo here. Okay, now he's got us on a radar vector and he's told us to report established, so that's a trigger for us to go ahead and get our stick completed for the VOR. I'm looking for the traffic while Mark completes the stick. He's sourcing it to VOR1, tuning the frequency to Oakland, and identifying OAK as the VOR, and confirming the course. Here, I'm flying 220, join the final. 220 to join final, five Bravo here. All right, he's he stated his initial instructions. Uh, four, five, traffic is gonna pass on to left, contact Mark Taylor approach, 123.85. Traffic inside, no factor, for four or five uniform. We're and we'll come on and we'll ask for lower since he hasn't given us that. And we're clear of the traffic now. Five Bravo here, traffic inside, we'll maintain visual separation, clear of lower. Number five Bravo here, to maintain 4,000. Just send 4,000, five Bravo here. Okay, we've been cleared down to 4,000. So our stick is complete, except we haven't kicked in the autopilot. We've been told to join final. So anytime we're, we hear the words join or cleared to intercept, we always hit the nav button. That finalizes our stick. Oh, we also need to make sure that we activate the segment of the GPS flight plan that's most appropriate. We don't want Hayward as our active waypoint. We want probably... C-82 or slant alpha, sick with gecko. Activate leg. Oh, uh, that's a menu, enter, enter. And that leg is now active. Number six whiskey echo squawk zero three six one and So again. that we can have situational three, awareness. Six, six, it looks like we will be hitting four thousand just before Jorpa and the segment that we want is activated. The segment Number after two, Jorpa two, fly is two thousand seven hundred. We want to make sure we pre brief all these altitudes. Part of the information is we're using DME off of Oakland, and we want to have that DME information to the So anytime we fly a VOR approach, or anytime that an approach has VOR DME involved in the approach, we want to put that on the bearing pointer so that we can read that separate from the distance to our next waypoint. Our descent checklist should be done at this point. Gums check. Looks like we've burned 17 and a half gallons approach, one, two, three, 12 point, last uh, time. So let's go ahead and switch one, here. We'll two, three, call it 17.5. Five, five. And that's five and a half gallons burned off the left. Six zero, Christian number six, whiskey echo, right contact. Right, 9.5 on the, the left, we're burning off of the 13 gallon right we can carry six whiskey echo. All right, so descent checklist is our gums checklist plus just a little bit. Altimeter is set, 
Cabin heat defrost is good. 282 maintains the fire below 4,000. Fuel systems by. check. Mixture's good. Brake pressure, we check. 282 maintain below 4,000 VFR. And all we have left on the before right, landing, we're already buckled 5, up. Our fuel 20, pump's already on. We just have mixture to go, flaps to go, and autopilot to go. Okay, so back to our briefing. This all looks very good. We've got our mist approach procedure here. If we end up going mist with the VOR, we can see it's pretty much straight out. So there's no real change to do. We could leave it on VOR or we can switch it over to GPS. Once we get to the VOR, we would do a parallel uh, entry two to the hole at uh, Oakland VOR. 282, resume navigation on the heading. Expect hiring a few miles. So what we're going to expect is once we get established and once we get cleared for the approach, uh, we're going to expect to descend to 2,700. Since the VOR approach is a non precision approach, we're going to use a non precision power setting of 25%, and that'll jive nicely with about a 700 foot per minute descent rate. departure, radar contact. Southwest 120, traffic 12 o'clock, 3 miles off, direction restricted uh, below you, 4,000. We're not going to use VS out in the way that we normally do. Traffic 12 o'clock. As soon as we can see that we're going to clear a waypoint, we're going to set our next altitude in there so that we don't accidentally level off on a point. Here, traffic 1 o'clock, 6 miles off, direction 2,500. Looking for traffic 1 o'clock, 5 Bravo here. We're 282, the 737 is passing overhead, altitude your discretion. 2,500, he'll go underneath us. Altitude my discretion. We're 6 Whiskey Echo, contact North Cal Approach, 120.9. 120.9, thanks for helping me Capturing 4,000, power is set, pre-approach level. Southwest 120, That'll get us into our flap operating range so we can get those flaps in, and then we'll finalize our gums check. 66 Tango, traffic's moving off your left, won't be a factor, ready to service, terminate its family, code contact, policy tower. Uh, Roger, I have the traffic uh, today. Thanks for your help. Southwest 120, clear visual approach from 30. Clear visual at 30 Southwest 120. This one 19, first 50% map. Forward. Number four, Christian number five, Bravo Sierra. Traffic is uh, 1 o'clock and uh, 2 miles obstruction, climbing down to 3,300. Continue presentating vectors across the final for traffic. 5 Bravo Sierra, understand vectors across final. So we deselect nav so that we can go across final so it doesn't intercept and track it in. Now we're vigilant for the traffic. Southwest 120, contact Oakland Tower, which is 7.2. And he is climbing towards us. Obviously, he's not talking to NorCal, and he's in sight. Traffic. Five Bravo Sierra, traffic in sight. Can we still intercept? Mile. Number five Bravo Sierra, just continue the heading for uh, traffic. I'll return back to join in a few miles. Five Bravo Sierra, understood. Six Delta Whiskey, uh, turn left heading 120, climb maintain 5,000. Well, we are in a good 5, position a where we minutes. could have turned in, but he hold us here for some other traffic. So we've been issued a vector across the the whiskey traffic, uh, 9 o'clock, sure 4 miles west, VOR, on the 737, not capture. Traffic in sight, 6 Delta Whiskey. 6 Delta Whiskey, maintain visual separation with that Through. southwest 737, turn left heading 070. 070, 6 Delta Whiskey. Number 5 Bravo Sierra, turn right, right turn heading 350, join the final. 330, right turn, 5 Bravo Sierra, join final. Southwest 335, 8,000, 7,000, and we have Foxtrot. Was it 350? On our Cal approach, uh, standby. We were 5 Bravo Sierra, the heading was 350 for an uh, interceptor. You are correct, 350, 5 Bravo Sierra. Number 6 Delta Whiskey, turn uh, left we'll heading uh, 360. So we'll get below 100. 360, 6 Delta Whiskey. Southwest 335, North Cal approach, 718, 6000, proceed uh, so really direct mic to expect the visual approach, runway 30. Of the low sensitivity of a VOR final approach course. Number 5, Bravo Sierra, maintain 3000, report established. Descend 3000, report established, 5 Bravo Sierra. Number 282, contact North Cal approach, 123.85. 2385, thanks for help.
I will go ahead and... Uh, 6 Delta Whiskey, fly heading uh, 0, Christian McKay, 350, uh, Vector 4, Santa Rosa. Feel our approach is going to have the proper zero. sensitivity for, for that. Even though we haven't been cleared for the approach, it would have kept it from turning in early the way it was when you hit NAV earlier. It disregarded heading mode. 5 Bravo Sierra, maintain 3,000 full established in the final approach course, cleared VOR, DME Alpha, approach Hayward. Cleared VOR, DME Alpha, approach uh, 5 Bravo Sierra. Okay, so now we want to make sure that we get down to our next altitude. Our next altitude is 2,700. And it looks like we need more descent rate than that. We're going to go to 1,000 foot per minute. That jives well with 20% power. If we can see that 20% power and that, uh, we can lean in a little bit, a little bit for the engine roughness. If, Number 5 Bravo Sierra, trying to take care of the turn with point? 0.2. What is your point two? Five revs here. If we would obviously clear that next waypoint, then we're going to set our next altitude so that it doesn't level off at 2,700 feet. Let's go ahead and set our next altitude to 2,300. We're going to look to see if 2,300 is going to work for Zenug. It looks like we're going to clear that one too. Hayward Tower, Sierra 345, Bravo Sierra, DOR, DME Alpha for. And uh, can we have a left circle to land, five bravos here? Five bravos here, approved as requested. Five bravos here. Okay, so we're going to demonstrate a circle to land on this approach as well. You can see the speed's a little high. Uh, that's a good power setting. Now, since we've confirmed that we're going to cross Zinnig, we set the altitude to 1200, and we look at the arc and look for that. And now we can just bring it up maybe one click so that we hit Watox right at 1200. We never would want to go steeper, or we might interfere with uh, our proper altitude at that prior fix, but we can go to a slower descent if we see that a further fix is, uh, is going to be reached early enough. So here we could go another 100 foot per minute higher. We're trying to put that arc pretty much right on Wotox or just beyond. This way we don't have a lot of leveling off, we don't have a lot of power changes. Now that we're back to about 800 foot per minute, our speed's in check. We're probably going to need something more like 22 to 25 percent power in order to keep our speed happily in that 105 range. 1,000 to go. I like to be on the, the full map here when I'm circling the land, and I like to go to a three nautical mile scale. And that helps with, uh, with your determination of your width on downwind. Oh, I sink this forward. Here we are, we're coming up on 1200. So now we're going to set the altitude up to the mist because we're clearly crossing Wood Talks. 0.3 to go at 11, uh, 6, 11.80. And we're clear of Wood Talks there and we're sequenced on to the next waypoint. We're going down to minimums, which are 660. Upon reaching minimums for a circle to land, what, to go. what we can do is we can use um, circling minimums there at 560. So at 660, we're going to hit altitude mode, and we're going to go to heading mode. 200. Okay, so we hit alt mode, and our power comes up now to 50%. Minimums. So set 50%, minimums. and we'll go to heading mode. So we can start start by working our way towards the runway. And w as long as we can see that our entire circle is going to be clear, then if there's no clouds on the downwind base or final, then we can start a turn all the way to a downwind for this runway. Downwind for this runway should be 100. We should end up right around 3 quarters of a mile wide. Now the circling radius at standard rate probably would have us a little too far out. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect and we're going to continue flying it around like this, keeping our altitude 580 to 680. 
Uh, I think that was it. Minimums were 560, so 560 to 660. We're in this region, and we're banking a little bit more than standard rate because we're in VFR conditions. Looking to be about three quarters of a mile wide in order to keep from uh, losing sight of the airport due to reduced visibilities. If it were a one mile visibility, obviously we have to stay within a mile in order to be in good shape for this approach. So that rolls us out nicely on a uh, just over 0.75 nautical mile left downwind. We've been cleared for 2.8 left. Five rough here, approved as requested. Five rough, two, three, four, five rough here, we're towering to a left foot land. At this point, as the circle starts to come up a beam, the numbers we know it's about the approximate time for our base. At this point, we go mixture back or mixture forward if it wasn't already. Power comes back to about 25 percent, a full flaps, and we just do a continuous turn to final, looking for the runway and engaging our rollout of our bank on 500. what we're seeing there. So now I can go more shallow on the bank angle can see that uh, this is going to work out nicely. If we had a tailwind for this runway, then we might end up with more of a uh, steep bank towards 20 or 30 degrees of bank as we turn final. But since we don't have any tailwind, uh, instead we've got a right crosswind, we're looking at kind of a standard right turn to final. Now we want to make sure that we're on VASI in our circle and looking for approximately 77 knots once we're on final. Five Bravo Sierra, can we have a touch and go and a left crosswind departure VFR for St. Carlos? Five Bravo Sierra, approved as requested, uh, as requested on the departure squawk 12 there. Five Bravo Sierra, roger. Can you squawk VFR for me? And now we're gonna pull the power off. Normally we're gonna land towards the aiming marks on a approach that has precision approach markings. For the aiming marks, we land right, a beam them, and then we give it full power. We're not even gonna touch the flaps. We're gonna go ahead and rotate. That's the right rudder. And whenever it feels comfortable, we can raise the flaps one notch. It's the same deal, cram, climb, clean with noise abatement departure procedures start our turn over the golf course I'm going to leave the flaps one notch just so that we get better lift as we start this turn and now we're done with the VOR approach and we're going VFR to San Carlos flaps come up